Hi guys, welcome back to another apartment update vlog. We are officially, hopefully today, starting my bedroom. I am just in my dad's ute waiting to go with my parents to Ikea. I needed to borrow their car because uh, the boxes are just not going to fit in mine. But I'm hoping to get the Brimes king size bed uh, and maybe a rug and also my little ceramic cactuses that have been on my wish list for ages so fingers crossed they're all there they were in stock earlier this week but who knows what has changed between now and then i'm happy to get to go to ikea anyway it's gonna be fun oh if you didn't see my last video i will pop a link to that on the screen but i included my mood board and what i'm thinking for uh, some of the furniture pieces so i'll pop that up on the screen so you can see it now but check out that video to get a, a bit more of an idea of what i'm thinking and i also you can see my a little bit of my last ikea trips to see what i'm thinking about in terms of different furniture pieces and the rug i'm still unsure of so i don't know whether i'll come home with a rug today but we'll see I want to see it in person again first we're here and the Christmas stuff's out already Christmas that's so cute <laughs> mum's enjoying my favorite chair now comes in leather more Christmas this is sweet I like that little Christmas tree I considered this rug for in my room. What do you think? For your bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> Some old fashioned. Yeah, there you go. I knew mum would say that. I do really like it. I just don't know if it's too much. No. For one of these type of rugs, I like it for this type. Yeah. If I had to pick this kind of rug, I actually like it. I like those cushions too. Oh man, the Christmas is everywhere. Like here, I've gone nuts. The entire place is decked out for Christmas. It's an interesting tree there. I like wrapping like this. It's kind of sad that it just gets ruined when you open it. I'd love to just paint a whole wall red for Christmas. <laughs> Excessive but fun. Yeah, we found my bed. I'm just looking up where we need to go to pick it up. It looks like we have to contact the staff to book it in. So hopefully I can actually get it today. We shall see. Instead of the red in my room. Oh, okay. The bigger size, obviously, but this type of oh yeah, more natural looks a bit lighter, so it might lighten the room a little bit. And it's neutral, so yeah. would go with more. I just yeah. don't know, but I do like it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I am gonna need a new king size, like full doona quilt whatever you want to call it but i need one that's like lightweight everything is too heavy and i'm a very hot sleeper if anybody's got any recommendations for good doonas that are like summer appropriate but all year round hit me up or let me know because i'm in the market for one this is what i was looking for you're definitely coming home you're an easy one i like these cacti as well i don't have a round one yet Okay, one mid beam and then we need location eight, which is the slats. Mm -hmm. And we need two of those. Two packs. Yep, the 90 by 200 ones. Okay, aisle 50. Put one back. In the wrong spot. No, I think they're okay. Aisle 50. aisle 50. This is not what I came for. I'm gonna have to come back and look at the Christmas stuff. I'm just waiting for my muscle. <laughs> Do you want me to help? Which one? Oh, any. They're all the same. Is that heavy? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Woohoo! It took 20 minutes for them to find it, but we oh, finally yes. got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been saying the name wrong the whole time as well. All packed in, ready to go home. Hopefully, doesn't move. That's the thing. I don't know how to say it. Brimnes, Brimes, Brim, Brimnes.
Okay, boxes are in, ready to be put together, and the rug is out. It does take up quite a fair bit of the room, but hopefully it should work well. Good morning, guys. We are back at the apartment. I've got my dad here because we're going to try and put together the bed. I'm not sure how long this is going to take us. Dad reckons we're going to be able to smash it out in a couple of hours. I don't know. I am going to time it, so if you want to have a guess as to how long it will take to, to put to the bed together, have a crack in the comments and I'll show you once we put it all together. I also did get out my uh, tripod because I thought maybe I could film a time lapse of us putting it together. I don't know how that will work, but we shall see. And I guess better get started on the bed. The other thing I need to do is duck back to TK Maxx today because somebody in my video spotted the fact that this mug, it has an incorrect spelling on it. The bottom of the E is missing, so it says, which is, Broof, broof, I don't know, but anyway, thanks to the girl who spotted that because I would have totally missed it. So that's another task for today. But first things first, let's put together the bed. Ready and start. Da, da, da. And we are done. Two hours, 13 minutes, 28 seconds or something like that later. And we have a bed. I haven't put the handles on just because I have some other handles coming from Etsy. So I think figure I'll just wait to put them on. And the drawers are in. Rug is down. Definitely takes up a lot of my room. But kind of not too bad. I've still got space to move here and th these drawers are just going to come in so much handy when it comes to storing uh, clothes and other bits and pieces. Like I've said before, I actually have this bed at home. I just have the queen size version and I have the headboard. It's really sturdy. I've had the bed for over five years now and I've never had an issue with it, which is why I was okay with going to Ikea for a bed. I'm definitely going to have some nicer bedside tables, but for the bed base, especially because it's just simple. I wanted storage to find a king size bed that was plain and simple, no headboard was actually really difficult. And Ikea came through. So there we go. My living room is trashed. We need to clean <laughs> that up. There's a lot of cardboard, but I'm happy to say the start of my bedroom is, is off to a bang. Hi guys, it's just me checking in again. It is a Saturday. I was actually supposed to do this update yesterday, but Sydney weather has been terrible. Uh, I shouldn't complain because we do need the rain, but yesterday afternoon when I was leaving some work drinks, I got completely saturated between the rain and the wind. It ruined my umbrella. It got through my raincoat and even my gumboots got water in it. So since I look like a drowned rat, I decided to postpone till today, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I purchased because I have this box here. My dad sent me a photo of it when it showed up on Thursday and I couldn't for the life of me think of what it was. And then I remembered that I had some stuff coming from Urban Outfitters and that this would be it. So it is actually one pillow. Two of the pillows that I got to get to go behind it are on back order. I didn't know that until after I placed the order. So they won't ship until I think like the 28th of November, which sucks, but that's okay, it is what it is. So the first thing that I have to show you is this cushion. If you did see, I just realized that they're completely wrapped, maybe I'll get some scissors. But if you did see my uh, like mood board, it keeps on changing, it keeps on updating um, while I find the scissors. Maybe I will pop the current iteration up on the screen for you guys. But these pillows, or this pillow in particular, was in that. So I will open it up and show you guys. There we are, that is better. It's much easier to see the texture. Needs a little bit of zhuzhing, but it's just like a plain black cushion with a little bit of pom <laughs> and some white stripes. And I really, really like it. I'm very happy with it. It's actually a little bit longer than I th thought, which is great because I was already sort of worried that it was gonna be a little bit too small. But if we stick that in the middle of the bed there, <laughs> Well, it's kind of hard to visualize, but it is a start. So I really love that. And I will pop a link to that in the description box for you guys, along with anything else that I can link. 
Including these two bits, the other part of my order was a couple of frames. I have a Instax Neo 90, I think it's called, camera. It's the one up there, the Fuji one. And then I also have a printer that prints, sorry, we're going all over the place today, but I have a printer that prints uh, the Fuji Instax Square uh, <laughs> film. I don't know why I can't speak today, but I have a bunch of these photos and I really just don't know how to display them. So I decided to pick up a couple of frames for those particular photos. So the first one is this one here. It's by the brand Umbra. And it just holds six different of the Instax minis. Okay, hold on a second. Let me pull this out as well. Clearly I'm not prepared for today's update. Please forgive me. So this one is looks like this. Super simple, plain. I figure it could work either in here or in my bedroom or just somewhere in the apartment. It does have a backing thing if I can get that to stand out. There we go. So it does stay up on its own or I could hang it on the wall or I could just have it propped up like I have that picture there. And then we have this one here which I really loved, the dark walnut wood and this little black swing arm. And my plan with this one was to actually modify the matting a little bit by just cutting a little bit on each side. It won't be perfect, but so I could fit some of the square photos because unfortunately I really can't find many things for square uh, film yet. I think it's because this is like the newer type of film. This is just the mini and then that's the mini square. The newest uh, Instax camera does use this film, but so I'm sure things will come out to suit this, but hasn't come out yet. So that's the plan with those. I don't know which room they will go in, but I just knew that I wanted photos somewhere in my house. And these are the photos that I have printed. <laughs> so I, I wanna be able to display them. And if any of you guys have some suggestions on cool ways to display these kind of like the Instax film or Polaroids or whatever else that you may use, please let me know in the comments because I would love to hear. My other thought was to get some kind of book, um, like a sort of scrapbooking book or something like that or some kind of album that I could put them in, even if it was just like using those little triangle corner stickers and just laying them out. So then if it was a nice looking book, I could just have it on my coffee table over there is like a little bit of a coffee table book so when friends and family come over they could just flick through and see all the different photos featuring a lot of themselves so we'll see how we go with that i have a bunch of these ones and i'm thinking i've got a set of christmas ones of my family from a couple of years a couple of christmases ago so i was like maybe they i might make this christmas themed and have all six from that particular day or I may do just random ones. We shall see, but they are some new purchases. Again, I will link them in the description box for you guys if you happen to have um, an Instax camera or Instax printer and want a way to display them. This is actually really good quality. I'm quite impressed. I wasn't sure uh, what they'd be like just from looking online, but so far, so good. Do I sound really out of breath? I feel like I worked out this morning and for whatever reason I'm like still puffing and it's been an hour since I finished. A couple of other things since we've, we've got the camera out. I did of course go back to TK Maxx to return one of the mugs that was incorrectly spelt. I actually returned that and end up purchasing this which is another Ray Dunn piece that says enjoy. Right now it has some Milky Top Freddos in there. I thought this would be nice. Not for Halloween, but just for the rest of the year. It's a really nice uh, little piece and I'll probably have it propped up somewhere over there. Then I went to a different TK Maxx and saw that they had some more of the mugs. So I ended up getting spooky and I also got Boo, which is currently at home. So I now have three. I have Witch's Brew, Witch's Brew, Spooky and Boo, and they are all spelled correctly which is awesome. And then I also saw this, and I believe this is supposed to be a soap jar, uh, or a soap dish, sorry, for the bathroom. It was in the bathroom section, and there was some other bathroom stuff that kind of matched it, but I really liked it. It's kind of like a no drama llama type thing, and I thought it would suit the vibe that I'm going for in my bedroom, that kind of 
boho palm springs a little bit mixed with mid-century modern so this will probably go on maybe one of my bedside tables or somewhere in my room just as a jewelry catch-all for rings or necklaces and things like that i thought that was really really nice and they're only 7.95 and if we wander into my bedroom i have a couple of other purchases to show you guys from last weekend that i might as well include in this video so the first one is this little duo from adairs they were having 30% off certain things and 20% off other things and I decided that I, I admired this for a while and thought I might as well get it while it's on sale. So it is actually two pieces. This is the Tivoli Hanging Pot in natural and this was $19.99 full price but it was 30% off I believe. And then I did get a faux plant to go in it. This one is a hanging canning plant, spiky hanging, I don't know, 40 40 centimeters green. It's usually $34.99, but I believe it was 20% off. So never buy full price at a desk because they're forever having sales. So I always wait to at least they have 20 or 30% off. It's much more palatable when you're paying sort of so much for these type of things. But I thought this would go in my room. I'm not sure whether it'll go in that corner or that corner, but it's nice and lightweight, perfect for just hanging in a corner with like a command hook, like I won't need to damage or screw into the roof too tightly. And I just really like it. It goes with the vibe that I'm going for. And then a couple of other pieces that I got from Adair, it's not this, these are my Ikea purchases that you would have seen. These two were also on sale for 30% off. The first is some uh, coasters. I just need some coasters. I like the idea that this has the gold and the silver mixed together because I have a lot of gold, not a lot of silver, but my bar cart has more silver. So this just ties well together. I probably have a couple of these on my coffee table and a couple of these on my bar cart. They're super thin. I think there's four of them in there. Yeah, set of four. Um, uh, these are $29.99 full price, which is way more than I'd want to pay, but 30% off, much better. <laughs> and the other one is this piece, and this is the one that I'm not 100% sure on. I really like it. It is, it's usually $39.99, but again, 30% off. It's from Home Republic, and it's basically just a decorative tray. And the plan with this one was for it to go on my uh, coffee table once... The pumpkins are gone and within it it'll sit things like my remote maybe a book maybe a plant i don't know just something so it's like a bit of a catch-all type thing everything will be within this because i do have this plate that i had on there but it's actually a little bit small and i had planned on using this somewhere else so it's kind of been a, a stand-in while i was waiting for something else i don't know what do you guys think of this i might like style it up and show you guys again at some point and we can decide but I do really like the piece so that that's that's a potential stay we will see I'm just coming back out into the living room for the last little purchase that I wanted to share with you guys it's actually an interior styling tip that I picked up from a Instagrammer and blogger that I follow her name's Savan I'll pop her Instagram handle up on the screen for you guys she has some really amazing content she's just had a cute little baby girl and I just I love her house and her style and she was talking about how to elevate your cushions or throw pillows to make them look more expensive even when they're not and she mentioned using larger or a couple of size bigger inserts and i'd never really thought about that i'd thought about maybe double stuffing your cushions and but never really actually tried it and then i decided that you know what i'm going to give this a shot so the h&m cushion that you can see in the back there that's a 20 by 20 inch or 50 to 51 centimeter by 51 centimeter say uh, size cushion so I decided to use a European cushion insert to go inside there. These are 65 by 65 centimeters, so they are a couple of sizes bigger. These ones I got on sale from Spotlight. They were around $18, I think, down to the $10 or $11 mark, which is a great bargain in my opinion. What you want with these is something that is quite malleable. You don't want something that is just that stiff sort of cheap uh like filler you want you want something that can move around it doesn't have to be duck feather i'm not a massive fan of using duck feathers to be honest i would rather like a, a vegan alternative just you want something like that's a down alternative something that will move around and that will make it easier to 
be able to stuff your cushion. So I have one of these in here and I've got to say, I totally agree with her. It is a great tip. It's so much softer, fuller, fluffier. You can do the whole like fancy chop thing that people on Instagram, interior designers and stuff seem to do. And I love it. It's a great tip. So I wanted to pass it on and share with you guys. I left this one out so you guys could see it, but I'm going to put it in that black cushion. There we are. They're both in and nicely stuffed now. You do have to spend a little bit of time manipulating them, making sure you sort of pull each corner into the corner, but it's worth the couple of extra minutes you spend. And this is a good example of what not to buy because this is sort of one solid piece within there, one solid sort of piece of like filling <laughs> it's a little bit harder to manipulate so you do want a cushion insert that is quite soft uh, that will make the whole process of trying to fit something that is too big inside a smaller container a lot easier just to quickly show you guys my outfit because i got a number of questions on the shirt i was wearing in my halloween video and the last update i promise you guys i've washed it it's just my new favorite shirt which is why i'm somehow wearing it again it says desert moon it's from sports girl and I got it recently, so it should be in stores. I sized up to a medium to make it a little bit more oversized, but the small did fit for reference. It's just like a t-shirt type material, super soft, super comfy. And I love the sort of grungy look paired with this linen blazer. This is also from Sports Girl. Again, it's recent. I'm not sure how I feel about the pink. It's, it's a little bit more pink than I usually go for, but... I do like it paired with this more grungy shirt and it pulls out the pink in here. I think this would look really nice with a pair of like cut off denim shorts as a good spring transition outfit. I am wearing jeans today just because the weather is a little bit crap. These are just uh, cheapies from Kmart, which I do really like. And my little loafer slide type things are from Tempt. So that's my little OO. TD outfit of the day. Oh, and my necklace is from Masoma. I also get asked about this a lot as well. So love that one. And ring is Monica Vinada. So I'm going to head off to the shops now. I need to get a new umbrella to replace the one that got trashed in the storm yesterday, as well as some like pant coat hanger things because I've run out of those. And I'm also going to try and get the nude espadrilles that have come out from Kmart. I have the black version and they are amazing. So I'd really like to get the nude version as well for summer. Wish me luck. We had success. And just as a side note, while I was at Kmart, the Christmas stuff was out for the first time in my local. And I've got to say, one, I, I'm not supposed to be even talking about or thinking about Christmas until after Halloween. But two, my original plan was to not do Kmart Christmas. That just, it wasn't what I was thinking of. But there were some things there that are making me rethink my stance on that whole thing, especially for the Christmas tree. Some of those colorways that they had in the packs, amazing. So I'm not thinking about it yet, but of course I'll keep you guys posted. It may be a Kmart Christmas after all. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday afternoon and we are sitting on my bedroom floor because I got a package today. It is from an Etsy store called Hook and Knob and inside are the handles that I've ordered for my bed. This is the handle that I've decided to go for. It's, it's pretty classic. It, it does seem to appear a lot on furniture at the moment. It should go here like so, sorry. And it looks like it should fit. So I'm going to pop all these on. They are quite a nice quality from what I can see. They're not like crazy heavy. I wanted to change out the handles to give the bed a little bit of personality, make it my own. And I thought the black was quite nice because it can go with everything. I had a thought about gold, but I don't know if I'll always do gold accents. I actually did order, they're in here, a couple of these T-bar knob handles type things, I don't know what to call them, that were originally gonna go on a piece of furniture in here, vertical ways, that was black. I have since potentially changed my mind about that piece of furniture, and I'm not actually sure if Ikea even makes it anymore, but I will hold on to these because there'll be something else that I can use them for. I, I like gold on black, but gold on white, I feel like gives the room a different vibe. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking this, but I decided to go with black and that's what I'll stick with for now. And the great thing about handles is that obviously you can change them out as I'm doing now. So if at some point I want to change them out, I can. I just used the screws that came with the handles. They look like this, they fit really well. I didn't have to modify anything or adjust anything. 
and it took just a couple of minutes to screw them in. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'll put an exact link to what I purchased in the description box for you guys. So if you happen to have this bed, uh, you can maybe purchase some handles for yourself. Although they did have a bunch of these in all different sizes. So you just really need to measure where the holes are. I really love how that looks. There's not a lot else going on in the room, but the handles look awesome. I don't have much else to update you guys on. The Winston blinds installer guy came back, so I now have fixed the bottom of these blinds. It looks blue in here, so you can't really tell, but they are now all white bases, so I don't need to worry about that anymore, which is great. And otherwise, I still just have my Halloween decorations going on. I have been playing around with this. <laughs> Still, I will continue to play around with these shelves. I think I have put some photos in that photo frame up there. I used the Christmas one. So I think for now, at least coming up into Christmas, I'll have those Christmas Polaroids in there. And then eventually I might switch them out. I still have to work out what I'm going to do with all the other Polaroids, but at least those ones are in there. And I bought a frame over from my bedroom at home and I put a couple in there as well. I still need to do my little uh, DIY to that frame there. I just turn a light on since it's quite dark and gloomy outside again today. But since I don't have a lot of new updates coming for the apartment, I think I might end this video here. I am in the process of just paying off some things and saving some more money for a mattress or potentially something like my bedside tables or something else for my room if something happens to go on sale between now and then. That's the thing about this because I'm waiting for things to go on sale. I really don't know what I'm going to buy when. I know that at the end of November there are Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales. So there is a big part of me that might wait until then to make any other major pur purchases just because I know that that's not that far off. There is a couple of things that I wanted to clarify first since I am uh, chatting to you guys. There seems to be a little bit of confusion on uh, buying versus renting an apartment. And I know when I posted the very first video of me uh, showing you guys this apartment empty, I'll pop it up on the screen if some of you guys missed that. I, I think it was titled I bought an apartment or something like that. And that seems to have confused people a bit. I did actually buy the apartment. I'm not renting it. You can buy apartments the same way that you can buy houses and townhouses and any other, any other property. Uh, you do pay strata, which helps to every owner of the apartment pay strata, which that money goes to looking after the common areas of an apartment building, but you can definitely own an apartment. I thought that was common knowledge, but based on some of the comments and questions I've been getting, apparently not. Maybe it's not so common in other parts of the world, but yes, I have bought this apartment. I uh, pay or have a mortgage on it, so I borrowed money from the bank and I pay the bank uh, each fortnight a bit of money, but I don't pay rent. So I just wanted to clarify that because I had a few people saying some things about paying rent and when I say do I buy it, do I actually mean I'm renting it? No, I'm not renting it. I own this and at some point in the future, if I decide that I want to move somewhere else or I want to buy a house or I'm in a different like life situation, then I may potentially keep this as an investment and rent it out to somebody else. And then they would pay rent and that rent would go to me. So I hope that makes sense for everybody. If there was a little bit of confusion there. And the second thing that I keep on getting asked a lot about is have I moved in or when am I moving in? So obviously, oh, I feel like it's pretty obvious. I haven't moved in just yet. And as to when I'm moving in, I don't have an exact date. Going into this whole process, I need to rest my arm. <laughs> Going into this whole process, I knew that I wouldn't be able to move in straight away, which is definitely very strange uh, situation to be in. And I know that's why I think people are asking the question a lot. I pretty much because of a lot of things that were going on this year in my personal life, I knew that now would not be the best time to buy a place. I knew money-wise that this year was going to be quite an expensive year. I'm actually in two weddings. So I'm in the bridal party of two weddings, which if you've ever been a wedding before, you know that it costs a lot to be in a wedding, uh, even more so than just attending a wedding, which these days, let's face it, costs a bomb. Uh, so I knew that that was happening. I knew that there were a lot of events and things that were going on in the second half of this year. I knew I was traveling to Fiji, which obviously comes at a cost. And um, all these extra little expenses that I had this year that I wouldn't usually have. So 
Even though I was generally looking at places, I hadn't actually planned on making a purchase this year. I wanted to have some more time to save some more money and I just knew that timing wise, I had a lot going on. So when this apartment came up for sale, it was a little bit of a unicorn. It was the exact apartment layout that I'd been looking at and wanting. There's only like one apartment in this building. Uh, on each floor that I actually really liked the layout of. It was also on a level that I wanted and it was in the building that I wanted and it was at a price that was eighty dollars to $100,000 less than what it should have been for a number of reasons. And because of all those things combined, it made it a unicorn apartment and it meant that I took the plunge to buy it even though I knew the timing wasn't the, the best. Um, and even though in a way, it would have been a lot easier for me to not buy this apartment, wait until, say, the end of this year, start of next year, and then be a little bit more serious and looking at making a purchase. So with that, I knew that because of that extra um, financial obligations that I had this year and just other things, I didn't think I'd be able to move in. And that's been it worked out fine for me. It's meant that I can slowly furnish the place. I didn't need to move in straight away. I live really close by and at the apartment every single day. So there's no real need for me to put on myself any extra financial stress or mental stress just for no reason other than to move into the apartment. So for me, it's been fine and it's working out. I know that, that this wouldn't be the situation that everybody would love. I know most people would love to just, if you buy something, you want to jump in and live in it straight away. Totally understand that. In an ideal world, I would have done that too, but for me, it just didn't work out that way. And that's totally fine. And I'm, I'm happy to, to, for, that, for the situation to be what it is because, I mean, I own this place and I'm getting to uh, tackle it and decorate it and furnish it the way that I want to, which is amazing. So I know that for sure I won't be able to move in until at least after I get back from Fiji, which is the first week in November I'm going. Uh, and then even after that, I know that there's, um, I've got a friend's baby shower one week and my sister's bridal shower the following week. So that's also a lot of organizing. And basically I only have weekends to do anything. So in that case, it's probably looking like December and then December is obviously Christmas. So I would suggest that the likelihood of me moving in will probably happen uh, when I go on leave from work. And that way I have all the time in the world pretty much to move um, my stuff in. So it may happen earlier if it does great, but if not, it's probably going to be sometime in December and I'm totally fine with that. So I hope that that was a really long winded answer, but I hope that clarifies a few things for you guys. And I guess I will see you all in the next apartment update. Bye. I really don't know why with the yellow lighting, I look so blue. It's like, I'm um, that song. I'm blue, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, I need to turn the camera off now.